Hi there, this is Kingsley. So today is going to be the ultimate showdown between the Apple AirPods Pro that currently costs 130 to 140,000 naira or $150 versus the Oremo FreePods Pro that cost 35,000 naira or $60. First off, both come in their preferred packaging style with the Apple AirPods Pro coming in with a little bit more simple but stylish packaging. It comes in a tiny square box. Inside, you'll find some paperwork then you find the AirPods Pro. Going in further, you get additional ear tips to use and swap um, depending on your ear size. For the Arrival Free AirPods Pro, it comes in a rather bigger and elegant packaging. Inside, you find the Free AirPods Pro themselves, some paperwork which I recommend you read. You find a USB-C cable with some additional ear tips. A free silicon pouch is also included, which straight up makes the Free AirPods Pro look really good. Both the Remo FreePods Pro and the Apple AirPods Pro come inside a charging case. The case of the Apple AirPods Pro is rounded and tiny, like those complimentary soaps you find inside the hotel bathroom or something like that. While the case of the FreePods Pro look a bit larger and thicker, I'll show you why in a moment. Both charging cases have LED lights and buttons in front to indicate the battery levels of the buds. The AirPods Pro has an LED indicator in front and the button on the opposite side. When it comes to the weight, the FreePods Pro case is a little heavier than the AirPods Pro case. The FreePods Pro charges via a USB-C port while the AirPods Pro charges via the Apple Lightning port. When you open the cases of both boards, the design inside is similar. As for the individual boards, the FreePods Pro looks a little bit larger in size and a few grams heavier while the AirPods Pro is lighter. Both boards have sensors that make contact with your skin for easier controls. At the top of the Arrimo FreePods Pro board, there is an LED indicator while at the bottom there is an active noise cancelling microphone outlet and the charging point from where it charges from the case. The AirPods Pro has a microphone by the side and this tiny ring at the bottom where it makes contact to charge in the case. Now what most people are concerned about when it comes to devices like earbuds is often the comfort. Both of these boards are very comfortable to wear. Because they are lightweight, I have been able to wear them both for long hours without ear fatigue or pain. When it comes to the sound quality, the Oremo FreePods Pro just sound really amazing. I can feel the bass and the mids clearly. It's hard to believe the sound quality of these boards for the price. The AirPods Pro still have that amazing sound, but it's just not as good as the FreePods Pro. Usually, I will say something like, the sound quality is good for the price. But in this case, the sound quality is better than the price. When it comes to active noise cancelling, both the FreePods Pro and the AirPods Pro have active noise cancelling built in. But the FreePods Pro have a better implementation. They cancel out noise better. When I turn on the active noise cancelling on the FreePods Pro, I will almost not hear you speaking. Like, it's very obvious once you place the buds in your ears. But because the AirPods Pro drivers are a little bit tinier than the FreePods Pro, they don't seal my ears so well, so the active noise cancelling is not so good compared to the FreePods Pro. When it comes to the battery, the Orimo FreePods Pro has a 70mA battery on each board, and the case provides additional 510mA. With the active noise cancelling turned on, the Orimo FreePods Pro lasts for about 8-9 to nine hours, while the charging case provides additional 23 hours. If you turn off the active noise cancelling, the battery will last for a further 13 hours and the charging case will provide additional 30 hours. When it comes to the battery of the AirPods Pro, each of the boards has 43mA battery built in, while the case provides additional 519mA. The AirPods Pro case will last up to 5 hours with the active noise cancelling turned off and the case will provide additional 24 hours. With active noise cancelling turned on, the AirPods Pro will last 3.5 hours and the case will provide additional 18 hours. Now while I've not had the time to test both of them that long, here's my experience. With the Rimo FreePods Pro, once I charge it to 100%, I can use it between 3 to 4 days before I'll have to charge it again. But with the AirPods Pro, I charge it every day, sometimes before the end of the day the battery, both from the case and the boards themselves, they are depleted, I'll have to charge again. There was this particular day I joined a Twitter space with the AirPods Pro. The Twitter space lasted for 3 hours and at around 2 hours and 50 something minutes, 58 minutes or thereabout, 
the AirPods Pro were gone. Like the batteries were done on the bots. I had to put them inside the case to charge again. When it comes to controls, both the Arrimo FreePods Pro and the Apple AirPods Pro have basic controls. Like you tap once to play, you double tap to skip a track, you triple tap to return to the previous track. You tap and hold on any of the bots to turn on active noise cancelling or reject the call. But the Arrimo FreePods Pro takes it one step further. Like it has this mode called heavy bass that when you tap and hold on the left bot and you hear four beeps you release and so the music becomes thicker and becomes more filtered. And I find that very useful for myself whenever I'm in the gym lifting weights. It just helps me concentrate better. So if you are in the market right now for new bots, from what you've seen in this video, I'll just say you should give the Arrimo FreePods Pro a chance. They offer very good sound, very good clear quality, ear comfort, long-lasting battery life that some people can use for a whole week without having to charge, and all of this for just a fraction of the price of the AirPods Pro or the Galaxy Buds. So you might want to check out the Arrival Free Pods Pro, and if you already have them, what is your experience? Let me hear them down in the comments, alright?